For high-speed projects where there are lines with a given impedance, it's important to maintain a consistent return signal path. For the return signal, reference planes are created in the form of polygons. The polygon must maintain its integrity along the entire path of the signal. Reference layers are defined in the selected impedance profile in the Layer Stack Manager. For example, for tracks on the top layer, the reference layer will be a two-layer ground. The next step is to set the parameters for the return path rule within the high-speed category. Create a new rule and then define the scope. Polygon cutouts created for vias and pads of the same circuit can be excluded from the rule and the minimum distance to the copper boundaries of the support layer can be set. We will then run the design rule check. The messages panel automatically opens, showing all violations found. It may be more convenient to work with errors in the rules and violations panel, which can be opened in the lower right corner. And when you click on a violation, it is displayed in the work area. In this case, the violation is caused by the vias being too close to each other, not allowing copper to fill the in-between spaces. By repositioning the via and filling that space with copper, we can eliminate the violation.